Hey, what's up, fighters? Fightman1995 here. Welcome back to some more Super Smash Brothers Brawl. So, last time on Super Smash Brothers Brawl, we defeated a boy who somehow self-destructed himself into a sub -bait. This episode, we are going to be going to two more stages. That is the swamp, and the next day's coming up. Whatever that is. So anyway, before we begin, if y'all could do me a huge favor and punch that like button on this video, I would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let us begin our journey once again. And you know what that means. We're playing the monkey again. Even though we could play a Star Fox. But I'm honestly going to save him for a later time uh, real shortly. So anyway... Ah, it feels good to play with the monkey again, because I love the monkey so much. Respect the monkey, or else you will face the wrath of the monkey. <laughs> That'll always be the common thing I say through the entire LP. Also, I almost made that secret right there. So yeah, if you go down there, you can grab yourself a, uh, gold box. So yeah, you, you pretty much gotta let the current, uh, bring you over here. That makes no sense what I said there. And also, as you can tell, that waterfall has some current, current from there. It can either be pushing up and down. That's, hey, that's pretty much new mechanic for you, huh? No. No. Get that sit by Diddy Kong. Ow. This waterfall brings it down. I'm just gonna say that right now. So this one you don't want to be careless for. Because you could easily die right there. Fair warning. And I somehow managed to dodge the bullet bill. Um, click. And I'm gonna go down here and grab you. Nope. Not, not today, buddy. Not today. Alright. And I believe this one also takes you down. If my positions are correct, Yes, it does. So my positions were right. Uh, gonna get past the two. Also, do not get on that thing that you're seeing right now. That is a no-no. And, oh, and thank God I was nowhere near that. That would have been bad. Very bad. If I would have gotten even close to that. Plus, that would hurt me a lot. Speaking of. Uh, nothing over to the left. Actually. I have to do this. Uh, just like that. Uh, please don't hurt me, Bullet Bill. And I got hit off green, that's just great. But anyway, get ready, because I'm about to blow your mind. This, this waterfall pushes you up to show you that there is a gold box there. But as you can see, the weight water current, waterfall current is moving up. From my understanding, that looks very suspicious. The way that is set up. In other words. And we gotta destroy this. This bomb like we saw earlier. Also that that gold box that I picked up just recently, just like a minute ago. 
that was actually one of the secrets that, that I did not know of as a kid as, until I like searched it up. So yeah, so there you go. And here we go. Things are get very interesting here. Just watch. Not my monkey. Not my monkey. Curse you, Bowser. That's why you should not mess with the monkey. Now you're gonna pay for it. As soon as I find you, my nemesis. Oh my god, it's a giant monkey! Sorry if that was so loud there, but anyway. And surprise! We have a new fighter coming up! This is the second unlockable character of the game! Falco! If you're playing Adventure Subspace Emissary Bird! Falco came to save the day! <laughs> and then just Bowser retreat. In his clown car yet again. Even bigger monkey! Yeah, Diddy Kong, I would be surprised as well. So, just because we're fighting giant Diddy Kong, I say we use the Star Fox team this time, starting with Falco. Now, this giant monkey that we're fighting, this guy is a beast. This guy does a lot of damage. See how much damage I just took there? Very, very hard, isn't it? He also takes a lot of damage, too. Just a fair warning. One big, one big attack like that would knock you out. If he would have hit me with that, that would have been bad. That is how hard he hit. So, so you want to deal with, you want to get him in a scene. And try to push him off. And, and, wow, I am getting my butt kicked. This is not very good. I can't let a monkey, I can't let a giant monkey beat me like this. Oh my god, am I gonna lose all my life? This better not be. Ah! Oh, I hate this stupid giant monkey. Am I gonna get a first game over here? Or am I gonna knock him out in time? Because I really need to do that. This is not looking good on my part. And wow! I am very glad I picked up the bond now. Otherwise, that would have been the first game over of this series. Woo! Uh, I'm really glad I picked up the bond. Otherwise, I would have been... Rude. And once again, follow the monkey! He knows where he's going. Because he has a quest going. Besides the Star Fox team. So, after hitting our butt beat by a giant monkey, we somehow made it. And to be quite honest, I thought you were gonna get a game over right here, the first time. And somehow we managed to avoid that by picking up a book bomb. I'm really glad I picked it up, otherwise we would have been in trouble. And plus that guy wiped out all our fighters. I didn't mean to throw that, but whatever. I don't think there's gonna be any enemies coming up that we can destroy. Oh, that was a good shot. Thankfully, there's a cannon right here. And it looked like I gotta shoot up for this one. And this is also a long stage, just to let you guys know. Including the next one, I believe, coming up after this. Boing! 
Hey, you know what? Normally I would deal with enemy, but I feel like that's like not important right now. So I'm just gonna completely ignore that and take up this Zalaga in time. I'm really glad I did that. I thought for sure he would screw me up. Just from it. And, and I, I really have to question it to know that. I didn't make that. That's kind of BS right there. That one looked like I made it. Why can't I get up there? Jeez. Ugh. Now I'm, I'm really glad they gave us, like... I'm really glad they gave us, like, uh... Free life. Or do I be able to encounter a problem? Also, we got another secret entrance door right here. This we don't want to miss either. And when you know it, destroying that box reveals a Toadworth trophy. The old toe grandpa. Huh. And no, they're and no, they're not. They're not all the same trophy each time you break a golden box. It's random each time. Just letting guys in on that note. And and wow, that was a perfect shot as it, as it could be. That was a perfect shot right there. I'm glad I I'm glad I did that. You know what? Okay, apparently I gotta take the trampoline. And is this the No, this is not the end of the stage. But we're getting close to it. And this one we this one we gotta be really careful of. Because of not only bullet bells, but those vines you you're seeing pop out of the water. Those things can hurt. Like really. They can hurt. That's why I'm warning you guys. No. No! Dismiss. Yeah, you know what? Might as well capture you, uh, Grand Paratrooper, just because. Yeah, and the yeah, and the positive and yeah, and the positive part is that they can also wipe out enemies very quickly. So there you go. That's the stage. That's the end of the stage. That was a long stage, wasn't it? Huh. Almost encountered the game over, but somehow we don't get it. We were saved by the bomb, apparently. That, I'm very sad that Donkey Kong's been chained right now. And it looked like it's making that way towards the island. Hey, it's the Great Fox! <laughs> Stage number one down! as well as our second unlockable character in the game. Yeah. Falco's the second unlockable character in the game if you play Adventure Subspace Emissary. So, yeah. So, anyway, that, that's the first stage down after a 14-minute uh, stage in which we had to fight a giant monkey. My, with that experience. I hope you enjoy getting my butt cake by them. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that any further. It's time to go to the research. And where we continue our research for Samus suit. And hopefully gain the suit back, obviously. And we would only know when. Also, also, I love the, the, uh, also, I love the, uh, the gimmick of this stage, by the way, because this is really cool. Not the best, but 
next to cool. And also, those are Gwyth, the one I got first by. Those are by far like my least favorite uh, type of rolling enemies to deal with. They're just pure evil, if you ask me. Uh... Or Big Primit. Why do they keep changing their look? That's the thing I'll never understand, I guess. And it looks like I'm gonna have to have that door open again. If I want to progress any further. I really hope I don't get crushed by it. I really like that. And it looked like the red ones move. The blue one does not. I did not mean to walk up there. Rude, by the way, Rotor. This is why you should be done. Ah! I don't think I'm gonna die from there. From those enemies, though. Wait a minute, I think, I think, I think, I think, if I remember correctly, uh... Yeah, if I remember correctly, there's a secret door entrance that we gotta go to. First, we gotta just, to turn on the light, uh, go down as quickly as we can, and into this door, because there's a coal box here. What would you expect? <laughs> and thank goodness we have a heart container to pick up. Otherwise, this would be more difficult without it. Huh. Also, for those who are wondering about the stickers, I will be uh, talking about them later. So, for those who, who you are wondering, do not worry. Eventually, I'll get to them soon. And I'll probably get to them by the and the LP of the Subspace Emissary. That's another thing you gotta watch out for. Cause really, the sticker does have effect. And there's the Samus suit that we need to achieve, but... We have problem! That's right. There's guards attacking us, which means we gotta take out both of these guys. And really, these guys are tough. I, I, actually had, I actually had a hard time when playing these, playing against these guys off screen at a hard difficulty. Fun fact. And they're really skilled fighters. Oh, I am so glad you can pick up the smart bomb right there. Nope. That was well predicted. I knew you were gonna fire that. Ah. Uh huh. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no! Ah! Wow, they really don't want me to recover. In fact, I didn't even do it either. <laughs> yep, no way I was living through that one. It would have been awesome, but nope. They had to be a jerk about it. Ah, that was not the, that was not the move I wanted to do right there. At least it worked. Please don't let it be a yes, yes. Yes, I got a mega marker, but it didn't tail anybody sadly. Boom! You down! Boom! 
Get out of here. Yeah, that's what I hate about Brawl. The trip effect. That trip effect can just ruin everything. The thing that ruined it. How did I know you were gonna jump? Or die. But, anyway. I did that one a lot better than I did last time. This one we did, I did much better. I almost lost all my life again. I almost lost all my life again. Those two guards. Believe me, it was a horrifying experience again for me. But at least I learned my lesson from there. So now we no longer play a seriously salmon, but now we play the real salmon. And we, we can look cool and we can look powerful. How dare you hit me? I'm gonna hit you with my hammer. Got a hammer, counter head again, okay, hammer. And I did not have a jump, are you serious? That was a very weak jump right there, speaking of which. Now I wish I would have chose Pikachu first. Way to go, Trey. Way to go. Back. Also, there is a trophy here. And when I totally screwed up right there, I should have not done what I just did there. But don't worry, I will be back to get it before I end off this episode. But it'll be off screen since you guys probably already know where that is by now. And did I just see a rocket launcher do something? I saw an explosion go off. So yeah, I'm gonna go off screen and pick that up. Just to let guys know. Because you guys should know where that trophy was where I missed it. And I don't think those blocks respawned, but I could be wrong. And also, this next part. I really suck at this part, so forgive me if I'm not good at this because I am just legit horrible at it. Like, no joke. I, I have tried this many times, and like, all my attempts I have failed to do. I do not know how you, how you do it whatsoever because that has been the Oh, that been like the most confusing of them all. And my goodness, I do not understand this at all. Basically, you're supposed to get the... Uh... You're supposed to get the right platform. Get on the right platform and get to the door, which is, which is what I really suck at. No, really. I just suck. Which is why I am, I am wanting to apologize for that. Because really, I do. I just always get lost on that card. No matter how many times I play it. And of course I get stabbed off the stage. More like I got food off the stage, in other words. And I think the auto lane just walked off the stage without even realizing. Thankfully we got a spare for Thankfully we got a spare for the life we just lost against the auto land. So that's good. Also, do not get crushed by these. 
getting crushed by that is, is very much possible. So try to play as safe as possible and you will get your golden box. This is why I was warning you guys. So, very important you hit the switch. Because if you don't hit the switch, bad things will happen to you. So, don't be stupid about what you do. And also, shooting shooting projectile that is seismal will not work. Uh, did I get it? Hey, I actually got it on this video. I figured out the puzzle. <laughs> and I said I won it. I'm glad, I'm glad to say that for those who uh, believe in me. I'm glad for those who believe in me because I did not. And as you noticed, I got lucky there. Well, I guess not lucky, but you guys get what I mean. Anyway, this right here that we're doing is a maze. This is, uh, this maze can be, uh, pretty confusing sometimes. And my goodness, am I not kidding when I say that either? Either, because they're like, it feels to me like there's like multitude of the teleport teleporters, which is why. Also, do not go in the middle. If I'm correct, because because that middle I'm about to show you right now, where we actually need to go through right now, takes us to this area where where the where the gold trophy awaits us. Our gold box, rather. My bad. Charmander! Just because we're playing as a Pokemon character, but not playing Pikachu, sadly. And... Guess what, guys? You're about to see something very big here. That's right! Everyone should know who that is. Especially Metroid players and fans. And somehow he's just killing Samus and rusting him up, I guess. But thankfully, Samus' life was spared. And in case you guys haven't guessed already, meet that's right, Ridley. Ri okay, so Ridley. This guy is... Uh, he's pretty easy to deal with. And he's really not all that threatening in my opinion. That doesn't mean he's a joke or whatever. Because he does put up quite a fight actually. He does have some strong attacks. This is the attack he mostly does, the, the, the tail drill attack, as I like to call it. I don't think that's the actual name, but yeah. And then there's that sort of a ground pound attack that he does. And as well as you saw the death thing earlier, and it looks like he's going to do it again, but faster! Do not get hit by that. That, that one was really hurt. And he also flies to the other side. There's a bunch of different attacks you can do. And as you can see, he's getting a little faster now. Just because we're beating him. Also, that tail drill does, does a lot of damage. But that should be it. There we go. That's Ridley, everybody. 
this boss of the game. Oh yeah. And it seems that we're outside of the research facility. And that's it for the second stage. So, yeah, I understand that, uh, so yeah, I understand that, wait, wait, what? Wait, what? I got 100%? Really? Oh, okay, whatever. Okay, I'll take it. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So, again, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching this. And remember, if you enjoyed this episode of Super Smash Bros. Brawl and like to see the next episode, don't forget to punch that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So once again, I am Fightman1995. See you all. Have a good day. Game on, my friends. And take care. Goodbye.